So the trailer for the Good Times animated series uh, was released on Netflix. And I don't know who thought this was a good idea. I don't I don't know anybody who said that I know. It's like, you know what? We want to see a cartoon version of Good Times. <laughs> Nobody said that. But the thing that disturbs me the most is is the characters of the three children, right? So initial good times is Florida and James Evans trying to raise their kids in the hood and wanting them to have a better life. JJ was the artist. Thelma was a dancer. And, and Michael was, as as they called the militant midget, Michael was the, was the, was the, was the Huey P. Newton. Michael was the, the voice of consciousness of the family. Now, again, as the years went along, they changed Michael. They made him less, less militant. Um, but, at, but initially, he was that black power type dude. We get to the animated series. It's different character names now. It's different characters. So, Junior is still Junior. He's an artist. Thelma is now the activist. Because lo and behold, in 2024, young black men can't be politically savvy. Listen, God bless my sisters, young sisters out there who are politically minded and they're activists and they're doing what they do. But we got this thing right now where it's almost like black women can be politically active and savvy and black men are just in the background doing nothing. <laughs> it's so insane. Black people, when they fight for stuff, it's all for one. Black women, black men. Fighting for justice is not just black women, but okay, fine, fine. We moved the activism from Michael from the youngest to Thelma, fine. And they made the youngest character, who's an infant, a drug dealer. So, Dave Chappelle had a great joke in the in uh, in his uh, in Killing Me Softly, where he talked about seeing a baby selling weed on the corner, and it was it was a fa fantastic, amazing joke. I still love that joke. It's, it's, it's hilarious. But that was just a one-off joke in a comedy special. They've made the regular youngest son on Good Times, the animated series, a drug dealer. Yes, are there, fa there are families that have drug dealers in their family. Th that, that does happen. But there's a, there's a whole bunch of black families where no one sells drugs. No one. They're just trying to make it in life. Why can they make, since he's the infant son, why could he be the therapist of the family? Why can't he be the one that everybody goes to for advice? That would be funny. <laughs> like the family's all crazy, but they come, come to the infant to give advice. Like Stewie. Why can't, why can't the youngest character, why can't this version be Stewie? Because Seth MacFarlane, for Stewie from Family Guy, because Seth MacFarlane is one of the executive producers on the show. And I bring his name up. I don't know how much Seth has involved with the script. Or not. But the thing about Seth MacFarlane, on his shows, he runs this thing. Yeah, they tell him, hey, Seth, the censors don't want you to do this, blah, blah. But, at, but most of the time, 99.9% of the time, Seth MacFarlane runs that show. Same thing with the soft part, guys. With, soft, with this show, with Good Times, um, Carl Jones, who was, who was a producer on the Boondocks, was initially involved. And he said on X, he left early. That is a bad sign. I can understand if they didn't want Good Times to be bo the Boondocks 2.0. Fine. But it could be the Boondocks light. But when Carl Jones said, I left, I was in it, but I left it early, that's not a good sign. So they put in a woman named Renanda, Renanda Shepard, I believe. So when I looked at her like credits, it's like, well, I never heard of her. I never heard of her before. She only had like four credits, like four Hollywood credits. And it seems like to me they installed somebody. And again, it's no expression to her. I don't know her. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. But it seems like they installed somebody that they can control. Where they say, well, Bernanda, this is what we want. And, you know, even she submitted the script saying, well, I want to change it. It's like, well, we kind of like the characters the way they are. Like they show somebody that they can, they can, they show somebody they can control. I feel like. You know who have been perfect as a showrunner? Matthew Cherry. Matthew Cherry, like I went to the University of Akron. The difference is <laughs> Matthew Cherry is an Oscar winner. And I think he made that uh, short uh, film, short uh, animated feature, uh, Hair Love, I believe. I think it's called Hair Love, 
where, you know, it talk, talked about uh, a father and a daughter and, and her hair. And the thing about Matthew Cherry is that he, he believes love of a black family, the love between a father and his kids or a kid in case, in this case, and hair love, like he would have been the perfect choice, I think, for good times. Even if you say the premise is still the same, they're still in the hood. I think he would have gave, he would have not made them stereotypical. I think he would have built that, that cartoon with love and support. And I think there'll be a lot of young kids who could probably watch his version of, of good times and feel like they can aspire to be something. The thing is, there's, there's very few black cartoons around. Now, like I said, I mentioned South Park. I mentioned uh, Family Guy. There's more than enough cartoons made by white show, showrunners where you can be uh, very intelligent on one cartoon and be very silly and coonish <laughs> with your other ones, right? So Because there's such a variety of cartoons by white dudes who are their showrunners. You don't have the case with Good Times at the animated series. Now, back in the day, with Norman Lear, who's also one of the executive producers of the Good Time animated series, you had the Jeffersons you, and you had Good Times. You had the Jeffersons who were upper middle class, bordering, bordering on rich, and you had the Evans family who were hardworking people, but they couldn't get out the hood. But at least they were as a balance of two different black families. That, there's no middle class family, but at least you had the balance of super, I want to make all the money I can versus I'm working hard, but I don't know how to get out of this, but I'm going to raise my family like we, like, like a responsible family. Like just because we're here in the hood doesn't mean we can't aspire to be good people. And they don't want this. You can tell by this, the way the, by, the, way the cartoon's made. Like they, they, they're going with very coonish things. So what do you think? Do I have this wrong? Are you going to watch Good Times? Now, again, I haven't seen any of the shows. The show's not out yet. Maybe the show, maybe it, the initial trailer really doesn't reflect what the show actually is. And you know, when you look at the cast, it's like it's people that I like, like Jay Farrell's on there, uh, J.B. Smoove, Yvette, Yvette Nicole Brown. They're all part of it. So they got, they got good folks on it. But just don't give these folks garbage. We got enough, we see enough uh, ne negativity on the news. We got to give our kids something to aspire. We got to give our kids something to say like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. That baby's a therapist. Okay, Thelma, she's an activist. That's cool. JJ's still an artist. Like the, the, the funny thing is, like I think initially with, with Good Times, I think uh, uh, John Amos, I think initially they didn't want uh, them to have a dad. <laughs> I think the guy who created it said, "We want. I want the father here. They, there, there needs to be a father involved." And I think initially they want Thor, Florida Evans to be a single mom. And as the show went along, you know, Jimmy Walker became more popular, and then the show just shifted more towards them than, than the family, to be honest. And James and Jan, John Amos wasn't feeling that, and they killed off James Evans. And then eventually Florida got remarried again. But the producers got what they wanted. They got her being a single mom. Now, in this one, they're together, which is great. But everything else is just stereotypical. But what do you think? Am I wrong? Is it just a cartoon? I should just watch the cartoon as is? Or do you think that people need to take a stand and say, like, no, if you want to do this show, fine. But let's give us some standards. And Steph Curry, like, I like Steph Curry. And he's attached as executive producer. And I'm not sure how much pull he has on this show. But if I was him and I saw how this show is kind of stereotypical, I would have taken my name off of it. But, you know, I don't know how, how Hollywood works. I don't know how invested Steph is in this project. But if it was me and I had my name attached to it, I would have been like Carl Jones and left the project.